It's your boy King and the Great coming at y'all with another video. So I'm, with this video here, I'm gonna make y'all think, man. I'm gonna make y'all really use y'all thinking cap and analyze what I've been saying. I was looking at the movie Soul Food. I'm not talking about the TV series, but the Soul Food movie that came out in 1997. And something don't seem right with this whole ordeal. Something don't really seem right to me. Big Mama did not die of no diabetes. She was assassinated. And I know you thinking, man, look. Whatever you smoking, put it down. Whatever you drinking, put it down. Once I get done with this video, y'all going to be like, okay, I'm going to get into the bottom of this. I'm going to analyze it just like King did. Let me tell y'all this. The Joseph family ran Chicago, man. Big Mama won't innocent as y'all think she would. Big Mama was probably running numbers, holding down the Chitlin circuit with Uncle Pete. They held Chicago down probably from the 30s and the 40s. Big Mama was getting bread, okay? And she also probably had a knack in cooking soul food. And she didn't die for no soul food, man. Because let me tell y'all something about black people. Black people, if we could survive generations and decades off of chitlins, there's no way that Big Mama soul food will take Big Mama out. So, with that being said, look at the family involved. The family, they had, they had paper. Vanessa Williams' character, Terry had paper, along with Miles. Lim was the hustler. He was Makai Pfeiffer. So, in knowing all this, the mob, they wanted to collect because they go you know, Big Mama and um the family, the Joseph family was running them numbers. They probably undercutted them. They were all working together. Yes, they were all working together. That's how they was all well off. That's why a lot of the family was so well off because that mafia money, that mob, that gambling money was taken care of. Them. So then they would have little Amar. You know how little Amar would always be in grown folk business because he was the innocent little one that they would use to make the drop offs, to pick up the bags of money. So in knowing this, they wanted to take either. Lim out or take somebody close to him out. The mob was like, look, these dudes making too much bank. The Joseph family making too much money. We're not getting our share. It's time to take one of them out. And they probably caught Lim slipping. Because, you know, McCall Fiverr, he was the rough one. They, they probably caught him slipping in the alley somewhere. They told him, look, we either going to get a mod or we going to get Big Mama or Uncle Pete to get that money back. That ins and keep in mind, it wasn't insurance money. It was like money that was already made. That he probably finessed from them. Lim being the solid dude he was, he won't give it up. Nothing. So they're like, all right. We ain't going to get little Amaga. That's going to look too obvious. But we're going to get Big Mama. So what they probably did, they probably injected Big Mama with some stuff. And the next thing you know, shortly after, Big Mama all of a sudden dies. But... The end game is, look at those millions of dollars in the end of the movie. What black family you know was going to hide millions of dollars in an old TV like that? Think about that for a minute. What black family is going to hide that? That was an insurance policy right there that either they had a mod, because a mod the only one that knew, but he didn't lead on to it. The boy was smart. Big Mama, yeah, Big Mama was in the game. They was either running numbers, they was running that chitlin circuit, and the mob got tired of seeing black people running the chitlin circuit, so they wanted their cut. The Joseph family refused, so they took out Big Mama. They wanted to get a mod, but they weren't going to get a mod. So, that's exactly what happened. Big Mama was taken out by the mob. She didn't die of diabetes. They probably switched that from the script. The mob took out Big Mama. She was assassinated. And the smart thing the Joseph family did was hide the money from them in that TV. 
So that's my take on it right there. I wanted to probably give y'all something to look at for a minute. So subscribe, hit the like button, holler at me.